Hello guys and welcome back to another time-lapse build for Valheim and today we're building an underground house for hobbits. Because of the way terraforming works in Valheim we can only really cheat building underground and we can do this by building into and under the large rocks. First you'll want to find a location then start digging under the rocks using a pick. You can dig into the rock itself, although I'm not too keen on the jagged looks it gives. You want to give yourself plenty of space in the build, however for me it became apparent that if I dug too far under the rock the tree from above may drop down, which may not look so good. And while digging I also try to make the walls as straight as possible, as this will give us stone walls to work with later on and once you're happy with the space we need to level out the ground. I then place my wall down to see how the general feel of the build will look and once happy I place down a few floors to work on and get to work on the basic layout of the build. The details will come later on but I want to have a good concept of what it's going to look like and I think looking back I could greatly improve on the Hobbit house so if you are interested in seeing that do let me know and obviously if you do want to see more do make sure to subscribe as I've got plenty more planned. Inside I chose to go with a raised floor so I placed the supporting beams under and then filled the floor with planks. I followed the same lines throughout with the exception of the floors against the wall to give it a clean look and from here I placed beams across the middle of the wall to give it a little more of a homely feeling rather than a dungeon. Ideally I want to use these arches in the rock as a focal point for detail within the build so I enclose them within borders and then I get to work on a fireplace. In order to build the fireplace I need to break through the rock above which kind of breaks up the aesthetic of it a little but from here I'm able to level out the ground underneath, add some roofing and get to work on this and I really want this to be a focal point of the build itself, something that really draws the eye when you're inside. Midway through you do see here that it's starting to rain outside and the camera is registering the water coming through the roof but it isn't and as you can see I do demonstrate here that it's actually dry inside. We've got a lovely cozy feeling. The fireplace is really important to me and I wanted to have it enclosed, however this made the room feel much darker. So to combat this I added torches above the mantle and next we need to extend the side room out a little. This will have space for a bed and a little fireplace. Again I wanted to continue the feel of the build with the banners around the side of the walls whilst also adding support beams and then we go on to the small bedroom fireplace and I really wanted this particular small room to feel cosy. Next we added a small separating wall and shelving unit for storage. I then wanted to add a skirting board all around the bottom of the main room to give it a little more depth and detail. I also fill out part of the back wall and this was just for personal preference giving the room a little more diversity. Next to add some details I wanted a nice beam over the centre of the room as well as the finer details such as the lower boards. 
I added a banner to add a little more colour and for the rest of this part I'll let you see for yourself. Moving on, we have the outside area and this will require a lot of work. First off, I wanted the house to feel part of the hill, which means that we have a lot of terraforming to do. Then there's the chimney, which needs to be covered to protect from the rain. And once we've done that, we have the outside decoration to the building and also the outhouses for storing the carts and the spare wood. When it comes to the outside decoration, I wanted a border around the house itself and to replicate those round doors you see in The Hobbit, I used a teleport. It looks great with the orange writing, but had to deactivate it for the build. You'll also see me adding some small garden patches and next time I'll also add some trees if you'd like me to attempt another Hobbit build.
Finishing off, we closed off the garden and added a little fire pit and outdoor workbench. We also added some beehives and made sure to plant plenty of carrots, and I'm very much looking forward to adding more home decorations with the home and hearth update. In fact, you can check out all the recent Valheim news by clicking on my card above in the right hand corner now. Also, if you did enjoy this time-lapse how-to, then be sure to hit the like button and subscribe as we'll be doing plenty more of these, including next week our Cliffside Castle Worship Place and later on the rest of the castle. Anyway guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to our amazing supporters, most notably our Solo Eclipse Patreons, The Calamity, Bo Papa, Cerebral Tag, Trebor and JP Zone TV, as well as our Lunar Eclipse Patreons, Matt Lippard, Chris McCabe and Lord of July, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, Kareev Johnny. Anyway guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching and as always, ciao for now.